I remember me and this babysitter, we ended up actually standing up together and we went to the closet. And once we went inside, she closed the door and said, okay, well, I guess you know the rules, right? Uh, yeah, I think so. Okay, well, let's do this then. And she ended up making out with me and we did the devil's tango. All because we were playing seven minutes in heaven. Yo, what is going on, you guys? My name is Bubba, and welcome back to another super crazy but embarrassing story. Now, today's story all takes place back when I was in grade 10, and in my grade 10 year, I was a massive player. No joke, the only things I cared about was playing video games and playing girls. Other than that, I really had no self-awareness for anything else in my life, and it was a really bad, but at the same time, good life to enjoy. I know it sounds kind of crazy, because every time I tell these stories, I always say I regretted so many of these things, but at the same time, without these amazing things happening in my life, there'd be nothing for me to tell on the internet. Anyways, going on with the story, I remember there was a time in my grade 10 year where I was coming home from school and this was on a Friday and I remember I was so excited for the weekend to basically stay home and just grind out Call of Duty because I wanted to get all my guns gold so I can get diamond rank in all my weapons. But right as I got home, I remember when I opened the door, I ended up seeing two suitcases just sitting there. I was so confused because I wasn't going anywhere. I already made plans this weekend to stay home and play video games. So right as I saw those two suitcases sitting there, I ended up going upstairs to my parents' bedroom and I saw they were packing still. So right as I saw that, I looked at my mom and said, mom, why are you packing? Bubba, we're going to America. Do you want to come with us? Uh, no thanks, mom. Can I stay home? Okay, but if you stay home, I have to get you a babysitter, Bubba. A babysitter? What? I don't need a babysitter. Mom, I'm 16. Bubba, you don't pay attention in school, so either you come with us or you get a babysitter. At that moment, I was so annoyed, but at the same time, how how bad could it be that a babysitter watching me as I'm playing Call of Duty? Like, there's really gonna be nothing for her to really watch. So I ended up agreeing to the babysitter, and my mom always went to this online website where she would hire a babysitter. And let's just say this site was the most random thing ever. Actually, funny enough, I tried searching for it the other day as well, and it seems to not exist anymore. But I don't really blame the website because the type of babysitters that my mom was getting to come over was the worst thing ever. Anyways, going on with the story, I remember I was getting really annoyed that I had to get a babysitter, but I went in my room, I sat down, put on my gaming headset, and started playing Call of Duty. But as I was in the middle of a team deathmatch, I remember my mom ends up opening my door, and she says to me, Bubba, this is your babysitter. Pay attention to her and listen to her, okay? And without even me looking at my door, I ended up just saying, yeah, okay, mom, I'm in the middle of a game right now. Just talk to you later. Okay, Bubba, be safe. I'm going now. And she ended up leaving. I ended up hearing my front door get slammed shut, and right as I heard that, I ended up turning my head, and all I see was my babysitter look at me saying, Saying, so like you don't even say goodbye to your mom properly like are you serious bro like is the game really that important to you uh wait don't i recognize you yeah we go to the same school dummy i'm literally like one of the seniors in your own high school and you have a babysitter like are you good at that moment i was so embarrassed but at the same time did i really care no even though she was one of the hot grade 12s in my school i didn't want to give her you know any form of attraction because i didn't want her thinking anything weird so me i ended up turning my head again and i just started playing my Call of Duty game and she just ended up shrugging her shoulders and went downstairs. I remember a couple hours went by and I did not hear a peep from the babysitter. No joke, we ended up keeping our separate ways and we just kept doing our own thing. But as I started to get hungry that two hours later, I remember I ended up standing up and actually went downstairs. When I got downstairs, I remember she was on the phone with a couple of friends and she was saying things like, oh, like, I don't know if I can go. Like, I'm taking care of someone. Well, I don't know. Yeah, he goes to her school. And she kept talking to her friends about me to the point where I ended up grabbing the sandwich that I made and walked up to her saying, hey, like, what are you guys talking about? Oh, Baba, nothing. Don't worry about it. No, like, what's going on? You can tell me. Like, I'm not that much younger than you. Okay, well, basically, there's a huge party happening and, like, one of the football players are hosting it. I was wondering, can I go? Uh, I mean, you can, but, like, there's cameras around the house, so if you leave, my parents will know. Okay, well, like, what if you ask your parents if I can go? Well, I mean, I doubt they would pay you. Okay, you know what? New plan. How about you tell your parents that I'm taking you out out for a bit and then we'll be right back before 12. It'll be super easy. I remember that moment. I didn't really know what to say because me going to a party back in high school wasn't something unusual. Like I've done it many times, but the only thing I was worried about was getting in trouble with my parents. So what I ended up texting my parents was, hey mom, hey dad, I just want to let you guys know I'm going to quickly go to the grocery store because we ran out of some food. So me and the babysitter are going to be out. Okay. My parents ended up saying, okay. And that's when me and her, we ended up leaving. We got inside her car since she was a senior and had a way better car 
car than me. And we ended up driving to this party. And right as we pull up to the driveway of the party, no joke, there were so many different people from my high school there. It was insane. Like, no joke, there were like people in the front lawn. There were people inside the house. There was people in the backyard of the house. There were people upstairs. Like, this party was like full on packed with a bunch of women and a bunch of cool kids from my high school. I remember when I saw this, I was so excited. And I remember right as I get out of the car, my babysitter ends up looking at me saying, okay, Bubba, remember, before 12, we have to be at this car. You understand me? No matter what, we have to make sure we keep ourselves accountable because I'm not trying to get in trouble. Yeah, yeah, don't worry. Everything's going to be fine is what I told her. And that's when me and her, we ended up going to this party. We ended up hanging out with a bunch of people. And also we did, you know, do a lot of crazy things that I cannot say on the internet. But now comes the craziest part of the story because what ended up happening next honestly was so bizarre because I remember in the middle of the party, there was a girl that walked up to me. Now it wasn't my babysitter. It was just some random girl. And she looks at me and says, Hey Bubba, we're all playing like a bunch of different party games in the other room. Do you want to join us? Uh, yeah, sure. And I remember I ended up following this girl to this room. And I remember there were a bunch of women and like three other guys. And then there was also my babysitter that was in there. I remember we were all so confused on what was going on. And that's when someone pulled out a bottle that they were drinking from earlier. And he ends up saying, okay, guys, I think we all know the rules to seven minutes in heaven. At that moment, I started to kind of panic because I ended up looking at my babysitter and she was staring right dead into my eyes as if we did a big mistake walking into that room. And well, I remember we ended up playing a couple rounds and obviously like me and her, we didn't get chosen yet. And that's when it ended up happening. They asked me to spin the bottle. I spun it and yeah, it landed on my babysitter. I remember I ended up staring at my babysitter once again, straight into her eyes and she stared at me. And for some reason, this babysitter like was kind of hesitating, but there was a pretty obvious point where she was trying to make it seem like she was one of the cool girls, I guess, and stood up and said, okay, Baba, let's go to the other room. Come on. Wait, really? Yeah, let's go. She ended up grabbing me by my wrist and we ended up going into the closet. And when we walked into that closet, no joke, she looked at me and said, okay, Baba, we have seven minutes to do whatever you want. Just what do you want to do? I don't know. What do you want to do? Well, it's a part of the game, silly. We're supposed to make it look like we did the duvel's tango. So like, I don't know. Let's just do it. Uh, okay. At that moment, me and her, we got straight to it. We made out and we did the Duvel's Tango. And no joke, after seven minutes were up, we ended up hearing everyone outside the closet going, okay guys, your minutes are up. And me and her, we ended up getting all our clothes on as fast as possible. And we walked out of that closet and it was very, very obvious we did it. At that moment, one of the guys ended up walking up to me and patting me on the back saying, let's go, a sophomore hitting up a senior. Now that is iconic. And I felt like I was actually pretty cool. From there, I remember time was running out and it was almost like 12 o'clock at night. So me and my babysitter, we ended up heading straight to her car. And when we sat inside, we just looked at each other super awkwardly. And that's when I said, honestly, if you don't want to talk about it, we don't have to. No, I mean, like, I don't know. I'm not complaining. Like you were pretty big. Uh, thanks is what I told her super weirdly saying like, thank you after that weird statement. I don't really know. It was a lot. And me and her, we ended up getting back to my place and we went to bed as if nothing happened to this day. Me and her have not spoke about this, but at the same time, she does follow me on IG. So maybe you guys could find her. But at the same time, just follow me for more embarrassing stories. Peace out, guys.